There's nothing like the enjoyment of good books, and if you're an avid reader, you should be looking forward to the Jewish Community Center's used book sale. And joining us is volunteer co-chair, Bill Kornfine. Welcome, Bill. Nice to have you here. Well, thank you for having me. So Appreciate it. So it's coming right up, 10 days away, roughly. It um, is. You must be super busy. We are. We just finished sorting our last batch of books this morning. We've sorted approximately 700 boxes and probably average about 25 books per box. Wow. So it's quite a few Thousands bo of books. So these books are coming in all year long. Is that how that works? We have volunteers from throughout the St. Louis area or even further away that donate books. They can drop them off either at Epstein Hebrew Academy or the Jewish Community Center in Creve Coors. So it's great, you know, every, every book that we get is a, a book that's been donated, so. That's awesome. So their books are donated all year long, right? Can that is correct. People drop their books off anytime, and then you save them for this annual event, which has been We actually on. have it semi-annually. We have, oh. this is our winter one okay. in February, and then we have another one in August. So we've been sorting books since the uh, end of the August sale. So are there books in this sale that didn't sell in August, or? No, we basically start afresh every, okay. every period. Okay. And so, so you pretty much sell everything. We find places to or find even, places for them to go. You know, to go. Yeah, right. <laughs> but that's good to know. So if you've been to the one in August, when you come in February, everything is new again. Absolutely. So you can fill up your bookshelves. Although we, you know, we have people that come over and over again to these book sales, so it's quite possible that they've bought books oh. <laughs> and then they donate them back to us. So yeah. actually, we may have the same books more than once. But those but, are the uh, good ones because they've absolutely. been bought and read and, and returned. So it's awesome. And you brought some books here and these are books that are going to be in the sale this year. These are general varieties of books that we are going to be selling. We have over 40, at least 40 categories of books that we sell. We also sell records, uh, CDs, DVDs, even the old VHS uh, movies. Uh, Castles is a, a British book and it's in our collectible section. It's got some great engravings in it. That's mm. at least 90% of our books are $3 or less. Uh, that's one of the exceptions. It's a $12 book that we're asking for it. Mm -hmm. And uh, as far as uh, valuable books, uh, we've seen that book listed as high as $80. Oh, so, wow. you know, it's a good price. Uh, kids' books are 50 cents or a dollar. This is one that my granddaughter, one of my granddaughters reading. Uh, after oh, she a, saw the play at the Repertory Theater, mm -hmm. this will be 50 cents. Yeah, great, at, uh, great way book to sale, get, so. get books for the kids. And, you know, honestly, I'm a big believer. Um, I think we need to start a movement. Put down the phones and pick up a book, right? Because Absolutely. there's nothing like a book. I know I, I probably have four books going at a time. You probably have 10. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you're really en engrossed in books, uh, living it like you do. Um, so, uh, what kind of attendance do you typically get at the, the book fair? We get real good attendance. The first day is your real serious book reader. Uh, it's preview day. It's January 31st. It's a Sunday from 10 to 4. That's the one that costs $10 to get in. Okay. The rest of the days are free. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday are free. And it's from 10 to 7, uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And from 10 to 6 on Thursday. Thursday is bag day. And people, we give them bags. They're pretty good-sized bags, and they fill them for five dollars a bag. Oh wow! And we get quite a crowd for that. Uh, uh, the rest of the days are free, like I said, and we have just thousands of books and of all kinds. And it's in stores. It'll be nice and comfortable there. If you guys need help, if anybody needs help taking them out to their car, we can do that for you. Uh, but I like, I'm, I'm focused on the fact that you said it's inside. For some reason, I, of course, it's in January, it would be inside, but that's such a nice idea to go and spend, you could spend hours just browsing the books, and I bet people do. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So what's the most popular category? Is it um, fiction? Fiction is very popular. Mm -hmm. Children's books are really popular. Yeah. We have, uh, if you are a home a teacher at home who homeschools the kids. We have education books for those, those people might find helpful. Yeah. We have various, we have cookbooks, we have gardening books, we have craft books. Uh, You've got something you know, for everyone. We have a little bit of everything. Yeah, that sounds great. We're going to take a quick break right now, Bill, but when we come back, we're going to talk about how you manage um, the forces of people it must take to put this on. So stay with us at STL Live. We'll hear more about the Jewish Community Center used book sale after this break.